Hello YouTube, my name is Nick and today I'm going to be showing you how to record using the Aver HD DVR. Um, first off, you want to install the uh, software, the Aver Media Center. Um, you'll go to Aver's website to download the newest version and um, that'll run best for you. I'll post a link in the description or annotation or something to show you. Um, so once you have it installed, you want to open it up and um, first off, you want to go to settings. I'm going to show you the settings that I use to record um, my gameplay in. Uh, you go to configure HD source, configure recording. Um, I do use the MPEG-2 because it has the most options and I think it's the only thing you can use to record HD. Um, you go to edit and video size. I do 720 because I upload my videos in 720p. I don't think 1080 makes too much of a difference. Um, so that's what I do. And video quality, this is the bit rate. I do 30,000. Um, you can go up to 40,000 but I found that if you enter in 40,000, it only does 20,000, which makes no sense. But this program's a little like 1980s y, so it um, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But I recommend 30,000. And these, I think, are just default settings here. So you click save, save, and this button here is like the home button. And then uh, you want to go to a TV and um, make sure you have it set to HDMI here, like this. And um, you will be able to record your Xbox from here. But uh, the playback will be a little bit laggy, so you're going to have to use the HDMI splitter so you can get it to not lag or whatever. So, yeah. So, when you start up your Xbox, um, if you want the Aver Media Center to record in 720 or in 60 frames per second, you have to make sure to set your Xbox to 720p. Because if even if you not or even if you're not recording in uh, 720 or 1080p, um, having your Xbox on 1080p will make the frame rate go to 30 frames per second, which makes the gameplay look really laggy, and uh, you can't really tell much of a difference on your Xbox. So I'm pretty sure it's system settings, um, console settings, display and HD TV settings and you can choose any of these but if you make it 720p um, you'll get better video playback quality so that's what you need for the Xbox part um, to record you have to press Control R or click this record button um, I play with one monitor so I switch inputs between games Control S is to stop the recording and um, one problem I've run into is if you press recording while the lobby is switching from pregame lobby to like the lobby loading screen, it'll stop recording. So just make sure that the recording starts and runs for three seconds before you stop looking at your monitor or switch inputs or whatever you're going to be doing. And uh, that'll help you out a lot. Um, next, uh, another problem I found with this is that uh, in Vegas, once you convert, you're going to get a slight lag in audio. Um, so what I've found to do this is I use Aver, or not Aver, I use any video converter, which is a free video converter, runs quite well, um, it's free and whatever. So you just click add video, and uh, you choose whatever video you want, and you, you know, you pick a video from here, whatever you want, and um, on the side I use the MJPEG codec, um, Vegas really likes that codec. And um, I kept 720p, and I put the video bitrate to 10,000, which I don't think actually makes it 10,000. Does some funny things, but yeah. And uh, 60 frames per second, uh, PCM audio codec, 192 bitrate, sample rate 48,000, two channels, and um, then you'll just click convert, and it only takes like 10 minutes or whatever, so that works out fine for you. And then you'll have a video that, when rendered in Vegas you'll get no lag problems and the video quality should be just the same. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hello YouTube, Nick here, and uh, today I'm just showing my capture device. It's the Aver Media HD DVR, and it's basically a capture card that you install onto your computer in a PCI Express port, and uh, you can use it to capture videos, gameplay, um, whatever you want. It's HD and it only costs 70 to 80 bucks. Um, basically, with it you get the card and um, it has a special uh, metal piece to go in a smaller computer if you have one and uh, comes with this here and it's basically just like an HDMI adapter 
so that you can plug in if you have component cables, although it doesn't do HD, but you can like, oops, you can like record whatever things you want if you don't have HD, if you have like standard definition VCR or like a GameCube or something, you could plug that in and record it too. Um, so basically how this works is you're going to need two HDMI cables if you want to record HD, um, and you're going to need this here, which is an HDMI splitter. You can get this off uh, eBay for like five bucks. It was like one dollar with four bucks shipping, so fairly cheap. And uh, HDMI cables you can get for like ten bucks a piece. So HDMI splitter, and uh, so what you want to do is you want to plug your HDMI splitter into your Xbox, and uh, then you want to plug one HDMI, and uh, you'll run it to move this over here. You run one into your monitor or TV or whatever you've got, just uh, plug your HDMI into your TV and then the other cable here, you run that and you plug that into your uh, capture card into your computer and uh, that's basically it. Um, once that's done, you should have um, no problems recording, but if you do, uh, one problem I ran into for a while was um, you have to plug, you have to turn on your Xbox with only one one of the cords plugged into the um, HDMI splitter and uh, then once you have turned on your Xbox you plug in the second one um, sometimes if you if I didn't didn't have sound but if you go to your Xbox you can if you turn off like auto recognize for display or something it uh, shouldn't have that problem so um, I'll just show in a minute here how I uh, install the card it's fairly easy to do um, not a whole lot of problems to do it so yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to show how to uh, install the capture card into your computer. Um, first, you're going to have to open it up, and uh, that should involve two screws or a couple screws, depending on your case. So you want to open it up, and take off the panel, and um, I wouldn't worry too much about doing this. Of course, you want to power off your computer and unplug everything before you start opening it up, and um, I'd recommend that you press the power button and just hold it for a minute in case there's any um, electricity sometimes still like flowing through or whatever um, so make sure you do that and um, the card you can see I already have installed here I'm going to take it out and put it back in just to show you it goes right in the back um, you might have to break out one of these things it should just like peel out or um, pop out um, so I'm going to open this up And to take the card out, crap. Okay, I got like cords in my way. Should just lift out, unless there's some sort of clasp. In it. And see the card. Simple goes in your PCI Express. So you just place it in. Just pops right in. And uh, download the driver and software from the internet. Here you have one of these, it's for the HDMI cable, like an actual HDMI cable. And the other one is for the um, dongle cable for analog or whatever. So that's about it. Uh, install the drivers and the software from the link in the description. And uh, that's about all you need to know. See you guys later.